NextGenWalkthroughs.com What's up everybody, it's Rubbling, and this is Halo 3 ODST, Beginner's Guide to Legendary. Alright, so this is arguably the hardest level in the game. Um, I don't think it's that hard, but uh, for some people it can be. So, what you're going to want to do is um, get out the Warthog here, and uh, you're, all, you're only going to be dealing with uh, Grunts, so just take your pistol out and take him out. The only one you really have to worry about is the one with the fuel rod, which you use right there. Him, along with the other grunts throwing millions of frags, will take out your escort. Um, yeah, so, just, you know, make sure and take out at least the fuel rod guy. And in fact, you should go pick it up. Which is what I think I'm gonna do here in a second. That's it. We're moving on. Stay on target. I think I do it in the next side. Oh, don't forget to pick up the rocket launcher. That's what I was looking for. Good trusty weapon to have and if you're able to leave at least one rocket in there, because that's one of the rockets we're going to give to our colleagues, our brethren, um, at the final standoff. In the final standoff, it's it's not really hard at all. It's in fact the firefights are harder than the standoff, the last standoff in this game. But um, usually what I do is I give a fuel rod cannon to one of the guys, uh, Dare, and I give the rocket launcher to buck and since there's another rocket launcher there you have one too along with all sorts of cool giddy weapons so if you have all that the standoff psh, it's walking the park in fact you probably don't even have to do anything Alright, this next section you definitely want to be careful right when the doors open. Get try and get Buck's attention to these guys up here. Now we can take them out. And you want the attention on you that way they're not shooting at uh, your escort. There you go. Now I picked up the fuel, okay. And there's more ammo for it later if you want some ammo. But um, f on this particular street, you can let the escort go up a little bit because there's not very many, uh, you know, people except for these people right here. Grunts, whatever. <coughs> so if anything, that's where you want to stop at. All right, once this door opens. Um, I have a fuel rod cannon and a rocket launcher. Those aren't uh, necessarily good weapons to fight buggers off. So here's one thing you could do. Just come up here and, and chill. And uh, wait for Buck to clear out all the buggers. They really don't do too much to the... Um, your escort. Uh, two times I've done this, they've never even, you know, put in arms way. So, real easy. All right, and the next um, piece of highway strip is another. Well. It's like another throwaway level. Throwaway area. So in other words, I mean, you can really just do what you want. There's no high level strategy here. Just uh, run grunts over and um, concentrate on brutes because obviously they deal the most damage. But, um, yeah, this part's easy. Down. 
And really what I do is I switch out the warthogs. You really don't have to probably, but it's there, why not? So whatever bu Buck decides to eat in the car. Um, the next piece of street is the one with um, a grip of ghosts, brutes and ghosts. Good thing about ghosts when they're in the when they're out out and about, they typically unless you're in front of the escort, they'll concentrate on the escort. So. So here, that wasn't too smooth. And Beer Baron actually has a pretty good strategy here. He actually drives right into that crashed um, ship, and stays under it, and takes guys. Let's buck, let's buck take fools out, and he takes guys out too. But if you want to go the passive route, here's how to do it. Just get to this car, and all they'll do is pay attention to Buck. They'll pay you no mind. And because you're in this area, um, and Buck is in between them and the escort, they won't go after the escort. They'll concentrate on Buck. So, really, if you want, you could just um, forget about them and just go inside. But you could hide here too. So. Buck's gonna take out this, uh, there you go, and uh, that's the end of this video, we'll see you guys in the next, uh, next video, peace.